hello and welcome to another video if this is the first time you're seeing my face hello my name is ash i am pumped for today's video i am just i've been craving a lot of music i've been listening to a lot of 2000s right now i've been listening to a lot of nostalgic music when i was listening to when i was in childhood kind of like 2000s era it's kind of been on my playlist so i haven't really um been listening to anything new so it's kind of exciting just to know that a song that i'm going to be reacting to today recommended by doug is gonna be the first piece of like music that i've heard in like two weeks three weeks let's say at max but i've just been going through a phase but right now we're gonna break that phase we are going to enter into new music and we're gonna see how this goes because you know every single song that anybody recommends is just amazing so today we are, are reacting to jeff bates he wasn't like us let's see what this is about but uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you end up liking this video like it as well so it boosts to other people that and subscribe to be a part of the community come on and go ahead and comment down below see what what's your favorite part of this video if anything but just let me know but let's go ahead and get into this We didn't know for sure, but everybody said That old boy ain't right in the head, he's a little slow We'd hide in the bushes, not making a sound When he'd walk by, we'd push him down on that dirt road I was just as guilty as my friends We had a lot of laughs at his expense He wasn't like us He wasn't cool He'd just smile even while we were being cruel He stood out He didn't fit in but we kept throwing the stones, no, we didn't let up on him He never said a mean word, no, he never even made a fuss He wasn't like us One thing I would like to highlight, I grew up um, when I was born, the umbilical cord was wrapped around um, my neck so basically i didn't have oxygen for a little bit until they were able to unwind it i don't know the specifics but because of that i am a little bit slower than the average human but that's okay you know because growing up i always felt like i was stupid that i i couldn't fit in because i'm not you know i'm not getting these jokes i'm not getting into these certain conversations that everybody gets it's that like you need to be able to stand on your own knowing that you're different and still standing within yourself knowing that you're still special you're still someone that deserves to have attention to have friends to have a wonderful life to pursue your dreams to to do whatever that you want you are as everybody is on this world if you're capable or not you are capable of anything within any degree of what you've learned, what you've gone to school for, you are eligible for anything. You can pursue anything. It doesn't matter who you are. Just like what OK Rick said, doesn't, OK Rick says, don't matter your skin color, don't matter your race, don't matter if you stink or anything or what you've done in your past life. It's what you do forward that really counts. So I would just like to highlight that so then I, you know that I can truly, truly relate to this song because I 100% do. Later on he made a name in our town for hanging out and running around with the rough crowd. 
They were boozers and losers and low class broads, but he saw good in them nobody else saw when he brought it out. Then the rumor started flying that he was some kind of holy man. But we set him straight and told him to his face he was a crazy man. He wasn't like us. He wasn't cool. He just smiled even while we were being cruel. He stood out. He didn't fit in. But we kept throwing the stones. No, we didn't let up on him. He never said a mean word, no, he never even made a fuss He wasn't like us Well, I remember the day he got in trouble with the law They cursed him and kicked him and mocked him and whipped him Then they nailed him to the cross He wasn't like us he didn't fit in And I fell down on my knees and wept for him He never said a mean word, no, he never even made a fuss He never did nothing wrong, all he ever did was love He wasn't like us Wasn't like us. Okay, because I kind of had like an inkling of like I know uh, Doug uh, recommends a lot of uh, Christian music. I'm hopefully I'm right about that. I don't know if he's Christian or not. But I was kind of having the inkling that this is probably about Jesus or God. Because he wasn't like us is definitely a great um, way to describe God or Jesus. Because he, mm, he doesn't sin the way that we do. So, um, I believe he's talking, he's talking about a person, but he's also talking about Jesus. Setting an example. Not, not doing what everybody else is doing and... And still standing tall to what you're doing, you know. And I think that that's what Jesus did. He knew that he, he stood out differently than everybody else. But he still continued to be his true self and spread the word of God. And on um, the day that he died, he, he knew it was coming. That's the thing. And he knew that he would only live till I don't know what age. But he still stayed true to himself on what he believed in and he wanted to prove to others that he's dying for their sins in even if they're hanging him on the cross right now you know the biggest sacrifice that nobody else would do because in our generation there's a lot of people that are very selfish of their time a lot of selfish within themselves that they don't they just want to follow what everybody else is following so they seem cool just like in the lyrics he wasn't cool he wasn't famous or anything obviously because he was different there was people that got him and other people that didn't and the people that did not understand him were the biggest enemies against him because they wanted him to fail they wanted not to see him do good or or even just people don't want to see you happy in this world and i i feel i felt that for for a second i thought it was a story but then i was just like okay it all intertwines into one thing so he was denying jesus he was denying god the whole time until once he once he just something clicked in him realized oh wow I, like he inspires me to try to do better now so i hope within this video that this can inspire you to do better with every choice that you have to make, go ahead and read your Bibles, go ahead and get the knowledge that you need to, and just get yourself out there and see what knowledge there is to learn. So then you can know that in ways that you're sinning, because I'm still trying to teach myself in a way of like, okay, am I, 
uh, how do if I approach this in this way, am I sinning? You know, just readjusting the way that you make decisions, choices, and your actions, and seeing how it reflects within yourself and others. So I like to just pick apart little things where I'm like, yeah, I'm sinning a little bit over here, which means that I have work to do within myself. I have work to do and to correct and see the correct way to do it, which is a great reference to go to the Bible if you ever need guidance as well. Um, but yeah, thank you, Doug, so much. I don't really talk about um, religion or God on this channel, but I really hope that anybody that does um, watch this video, you just feel inspired to kind of just make better decisions and don't kick down the little ones because if you were the little ones, you would be struggling so much harder than they already do. You know, we are the fighters. We are the fighters that stand different, that stand alone for various reasons. But uh, thank you for watching today's video. Like, comment if you like this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.